Welcome to MacBook Lessons number 13, a lesson a day made easy for you on Facebook. Today, we're going to be talking about the date and time settings. You can find those in your system preferences, right here under date and time under the system. This is a pretty quick lesson, but there's some things that you probably want to know. First of all, when it refers to the date and time, it's talking about up here in the bar. The date and time on the computer are important so that when you set up things like parental controls or when you go to different locations in the world, uh, if your settings are, are set up the way you want them to, things will change easily or um, this, your child will be able to get into their computer when they need to and all that kind of stuff. So date and time is important. So at the top, you'll see this checkbox that allows you to take the date and time out of the bar at the top. You can make it an analog or digital clock. You can actually display it with seconds. You can have it flash to make it remind you that it's constantly changing. There it goes. Do you see it flashing up here? You can use a 24 hour clock. You can also show AM and PM. The thing I like up here is the fact that you can show the dates. And I know the computer comes automatically with this unchecked, so you don't see the act actual date. And then if you want the date, you have to come up here and hover to see it. Well, this will actually give you the opportunity to just put it in the toolbar automatically. You can also show the day of the week or not show it. One of the things that you can do is have it announce the time on the hour, on the half hour, or on the quarter hour. Under customized voice, there's actually an, a whole array of voices. And you'll see right now I have Jill downloading. That's because under customize, you can come in here and you can actually download different voices. Some of them are already given to you, the six that you have, and then you can download additional ones that you want to add to your list. I noticed that Jill had a much nicer voice, a much more realistic voice for American English, and so I downloaded hers. <clears throat> okay, so we're going to leave that like that, and we're going to go to time zone. In here, you can have it set the time zone automatically with your, your search function. So if you uh, have the iCloud turned on and it searches for your device when it's lost, you can also turn this on and have it search for your device where it is so it'll automatically set the time zone. This is really nice so when you're traveling to another part of the United States or you're traveling to another country, you can actually have it readjust itself on its own. The other thing is to, down here, you can do it to the closest city. So these are just some city options that I have near me. And then the first one is date and time. And this one actually says that um, the set, set date and time automatically to the Americas. Or uh, you can come down here, you can set the day of the week automatically. Or you can come over here and you can set it, the time automatically. But if you do this, if you want to change it, you have to actually uncheck that. And then you can change it to any day you want. However, if I have this checked, it's going to automatically do what's, what time and day it is right now. So once you're done, you can actually lock your preferences. And it won't change any of them. If someone gets in here, they'll have to know the password to change it. And then that's basically it for date and time settings. I'm going to go ahead and close, and I just want to say thank you for joining me today, and I look forward to teaching you again tomorrow.